Hi, hello and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Claudia and today we're making carne de porco alentejana, which is pork and clams. It is a very traditional Portuguese dish that comes from a region in Portugal of the Alentejo. I am making the traditional recipe the way my mom taught me to make it and the way we've always made it, which is we use lard to fry the pork. Um, the pork has been marinating since yesterday. <laughs> so for this recipe, you're going to need pork loin that's been cut into bite-sized pieces, about an inch big. Uh, some clams. I'm using frozen clams because the fresh, uh, the little neck clams, they weren't, um, they just didn't look right, so I'm using frozen. We're gonna use some potatoes that I've already cut up into uh, cubes, and lard, as I've said, and also cilantro to finish the dish off. The pork, I have been marinating for about a bit over 12 hours uh, with white wine, garlic, bay leaves, salt and pepper, and paprika. So now we, I'm going to start off with the fry. The potatoes are going to be fried and I'm going to use the air fryer. I want to wash the potatoes and remove some of the starch until the water is clear. And then we're going to soak it uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to start frying the potatoes in the air fryer. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've soaked the potatoes for 15 minutes and I'm gonna give them a good rinse. You want them nice and dry before they go in the air fryer. And I have my air fryer heating and I'm also gonna turn on uh, the stove so we can start frying the pork. You wanna coordinate everything so it's all done at the same time but I figure it's gonna take me um, probably two or three times through the air fryer to fry all these fries. So just make sure they're nice and dry. So while the fries are frying, I'm gonna start searing the pork. So we're gonna sear the pork first and I'm using my um, cast iron pan to do that. And I'm gonna use olive oil and you don't wanna overcrowd the pan as we're doing it. So I'm heating it up at high heat. So you wanna make sure the cast iron pan has been heating for at least five minutes. And then we're gonna add in the olive oil. Just coat the bottom and you can see that it's hot. So before we start frying the pork, we gotta make sure that it's um, not wet. So I'm gonna transfer the pork into my salad spinner and uh, we're gonna reserve the liquid the pork is in from the marinade from last night because we're gonna use that. Don't do the same mistake that I did many Christmases ago uh, where I threw the marinating liquid out before my mom was able to use it in the dish. So um, just to recap, I'm transferring the marinating pork into my salad spinner with this because you don't want the pork to be wet and that way it's going to really help sear the pork. So I ran the pork through the salad spinner because we want it nice and dry. 
and as you can tell, quite a big, bit of liquid came out. So we're gonna reserve that. So now we're ready to sear the pork. Uh, we don't wanna overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna go in batches. And it should be able to just come off the pan once it's ready to be flipped. So that the meat, we don't want to stew it. We want to just sear it, get a nice color on it. So we've seared all the pork and now we're going to use a new pan. I'm going to use my brazier uh, where we put everything together except the fries. So we want to bring the brazier up to a medium heat and we're going to add in our lard to then add the pork. Okay, so the brazier is warming up and I'm gonna add my lard to it. This is about a quarter cup of lard that's going in. We're gonna heat it up, and then we're gonna add our pork because we only seared it. We didn't cook it all the way through. We're gonna cook it all the way through here. So we're gonna wait until that warms up. So now we're going to add in our pork. And we're gonna cook it for about five minutes just so that it's cooked through and then we're gonna check a piece to make sure that it's cooked. And in our marinade, we can get rid of the bay leaves, but we're gonna use the garlic that's in here. And once the pork is fully cooked, we're gonna add the marinade in and cook it down for a bit. It has been five minutes and I just cut into one and it's a little bit pink but that's perfect because we're gonna add the clams now and then we're still gonna cook it for another about five minutes. So it has a chance to finish cooking because we don't wanna overcook our pork because then it's going to be tough. So now I'm going to add my clams. These um, were frozen and they're still a bit frozen and that is fine. They literally take no time. Now we're gonna cover it and let it go for five minutes and then check on them. So the clams have all opened up and it's been about five minutes and we are good to serve. And here we have our carne porca lentiana. Traditionally, this dish was served as a patishku, which would be served at a bar. Usually, like when, if someone's having a beer or wine, it's served as a patishku. It's sort of been adapted as being served with fries, and the way you serve it is you put the fries at the bottom and then you put the meat on top. So it would go to the table on a tray and you'd have the fries at the bottom, like so. And then you'd have the pork and clams over it with the sauce. And then you'd uh, put cilantro on top. And this is how it would be served as a meal, like so. And now I'm going to serve myself just a little dish. And now comes the most difficult part of this dish. Let's taste. The pork is nice and tender and juicy. It's not overcooked at all. And that's what happens when you like sear it first and then you add the marinating to it and the clams, it comes out perfect every time. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you make it and thank you for watching. <laughs>